Hello, my name is Steve Marks and I work on Windows Azure. Today I'd like to show you my latest and greatest sample called the CIA Pickup. The idea behind it is simple. I have a plan. I'm going to meet a girl and tell her I'm in the CIA. Then I'm not really clear on what step two is, but I know that step three is I'm going to get her phone number. Well, the job of the CIA Pickup is to take care of that step number two. So to use it, I'm going to browse to the CIAPickup.com, and I'm going to sign in with my Live ID. I'm then going to choose a five-digit agent identification number, associate it with my name and email address, and submit that to the site. Now I'll make a business card identifying me as Agent Steve Marks of the CIA, and leaving this phone number along with this agent identification number. Now the girl probably won't believe me when I give her this card that I'm really in the CIA. I don't really look the part. But maybe she's curious enough that she'll give that phone number a call and see what happens. Let's try it now. Welcome to the Central Intelligence Agency Automated Phone System. If you have an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. To be connected to an agent, please enter a five-digit agent identification number. I'll just enter 12345. Agent Steve Marks is currently unavailable to take your call. Please hang up and try again later. Did you hear that? The Central Intelligence Agency just said that Agent Steve Marks is unavailable to take our call. If that's not proof that I'm a real CIA agent, I don't know what is. So now maybe we've convinced her that I'm a CIA agent, but we haven't really met step three of our plan, which is to get her phone number. Well, for that, we're going to click a link over here that says View the Calls You've Received So Far. And here, we're going to see that we just received a phone call from this phone number, and that's just the front desk of Microsoft, so don't bother giving it a call. And now we've gotten the phone number. At the same time, an email is going to be sent to me that looks just like this one and says, Agent Steve Marks, you've received a phone call from that phone number at this time. So that's how the system works. Let's take a look at the architecture behind it. So this is a brief uh, diagram of the CIA pickup architecture. It's got four major components. Windows Azure is hosting the application logic itself and the data associated with the application. Twilio is handling the phone call. So Twilio is a company that is very web developer focused and handles telephony. So they're the one managing the dialogue on the phone and receiving the digits that are pressed by the user. Live ID is doing the authentication for us, and Windows Live Mail is what I'm using to handle the mail for the domain, the CIAPickup.com, and so via SMTP, that's how we're sending the notification mails. So let's walk through the flow of the demo that we just saw. So on my laptop, I browsed to the CIAPickup.com. I went through a load balancer, which was automatically provisioned and programmed for me by Windows Azure, and I landed on an instance of my web role. The web role presented that UI that we saw on the first page and gave me a link to sign in. When I clicked that link, I was bounced out to Live ID where I did authentication and then back into this web role where I'm now an authenticated user. From there, I entered my new agent identification number, 12345, and my name and email address. Those got stored in a table in Windows Azure Storage. Then we placed a phone call. That phone call came in through Twilio, and Twilio looked up based on the incoming phone number, uh, the 1866 number that we dialed, and said that's associated with a URL at the CIAPickup.com. It did an HTTP GET for that URL, went through that same load balancer to the same web role, but a different URL. The web role then replied with an XML document instructing Twilio to say that opening uh, dialog of this is the Central Intelligence Agency and to ask for an agent identification number. Twilio then recorded the numbers that were pressed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and sent those back to another URL through the same load balancer to the same web role, but at another URL. That URL took the agent identification number that came in, looked up in the table in Windows Azure, and came back with, yes, we do have an agent with that uh, agent identification number. His name is Steve Marks replied to Twilio with an XML document instructing Twilio to say that Agent Steve Marks is unavailable to take our call. At the same time, the web role constructed a message that it placed on the Windows Azure queue. And that message contained information about the call, the caller ID information uh, and the time that the call came in, as well as the agent identification number that it was directed to. Sometime in the future, the worker role picks up that message, decodes it, 
and based on the agent identification number, does a lookup in Windows Azure tables. It comes back with the information that this is agent Steve Marks at steve.marks at microsoft.com. The worker role then has all the information it needs to construct the mail. So it puts together a mail to steve.marks at microsoft.com, referring to me by name and giving me the information about the time of the call and the caller ID info. Windows Live Mail handles the mail for the CIAPickup.com and sends that mail to me. Once it's done that, the worker role also records all that information in another table, a call table, in Windows Azure Storage. That way, when I browse in my uh, browser again to the web role and click that button of let me see all the calls that I've received, the web role is able to look up in Windows Azure tables that information and display back to me UI showing me all the calls that I've received. So that's been a brief introduction to the sample. I hope that you're interested in learning more and you'll visit blog.smarks.com where you'll also find the full source code for this sample. Thank you.